and welcome class to another video on how to level on Grim Dawn. This time we will we will be continuing where we left off and we'll be getting to level 10. As you can see I got some new gear. I ha I had to cheat and I will be cheating for most of my builds because finding good equipment in this is really up to luck. And luck, on my case, yeah, I'm not such a lucky guy at all, especially in video games. But yeah, as you can see, soldier, even on veteran, good option. We're level 7, and we have a lot of customized gear. And we'll be getting even more customized gear. If you're wondering how to, how I have so much, life is because I put a lot of... Uh, fur, misty fur, on my equipment. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Misty fur is a good enhancement to get. It gives you a lot of health and physique. Physique is for for melee build means a lot, as you can see. That I'm doing a lot of damage to them. And I'm leveling quite nicely. Old man's axe, even without augment, is a strong weapon. Plus the shield I got. Is not that bad either. At level... At level 10 you get another unit to... You get to choose another mastery, but yeah. We will get, we will talk about that when, once we get here. This quest is the second part of the clean, uh, of the restoring the water farm quest. You want to do this, the reward is worth it. It's basically giving you another event, inventory bag. And the more stuff you carry, the more you can sell and make a profit out of. But yeah, this quest is definitely worth doing if you haven't you're missing out on a lot of cool stuff but yeah as you can see no problem whatsoever here the walking dad are uh, no dead the walking da dad really learn to speak properly honestly you're on camera for crying out loud but yeah these guys are a pain in the but they're here the uh, the burning dad dead again with the dad really not only that they do a lot of fire damage but they also explode once you kill them on vet normal and veteran is not that bad later on on ultimate oh boy does it hurt even with cap resistances you will gonna feel them a lot Spiders, not only they are annoying for two things, not only that they pop out of everywhere, and I mean literally everywhere, and, and especially when you loot bodies, but, yeah, but they can ensnare you and basically paralyze you for a short period of time, where, and that means you can almost die. Granted, these spiders are not that strong, but yeah. Do watch out for spiders. As you can see, Cadence, doing well. Soon we'll be getting to the one to kill stuff. And that will be awesome when we get there. But yeah. This is basically how to you level up in Grim Dawn. If you like this build, tell me if you want to continue with this or if it was helpful at all. My comment is not sterile material and my new build play style, well... Uh, let's just say I'm not the right person to do guides for YouTube. I've learned that the hard way on my first forum I uploaded this. They laughed so hard, they even kicked me out. Yeah. That's how lame they thought I was. But yeah, as you can see, one point in strength, and 
The rest will go to... Come on. Don't do something stupid. Yeah, physique. For him of all health, why not? As you can see, physique really increases your... Uh, I mean conditioning really increases your physique by a lot and that means the more you hit and that means even more damage and health yeah as you can see for one shot one shot stuff cadence is quite nice to have later on we're gonna get them some splash damage but f as cadence goes in a week you'll be needing something else to compensate mainly charged with reduction to resistances passive unlocked otherwise you're gonna have a problem later on on higher difficulties you won't be killing them as fast as you wanted to do I'm debating if whether I wanna pick a necromancer or an occultist for this if I wanna continue with this build but I'll have to think it over it's either death knight or whatever soldier and occultist gives I forgot what it is but yeah debatable Still not sure for myself, I think I'm gonna continue with Soldier until we max out. Yeah, you may wanna continue like I said before in part 1. Continue maxing out one proficiency then go for the other at your leisure. Although... You may wanna invest a few basics in another one because well, killing stuff later is gonna become harder. Especially on veteran. But yeah, if you wanna know how well your build is doing you will want to play this game on veteran trust me normal is too easy you'll be dealing tons of damage everything will be dying in like one or two hits most of the time the hero spawns are not that great and which means reputation will not grow as fast as you wanted and trust me later on you'll really be handicapped when you get to higher difficulty levels like elite and you see that you're not doing as much damage as you want to you'll be getting to the point of why I regret all my life decisions I made but yeah all of them I don't know where I'm gonna upload this since it's storming and well internet kind of been dead for a while now a lot of dead I hope I can get this tutorial guide this leveling a little the leveling stuff done also see necklace those are quest items you may want to keep those you'll be needing at least five for a quest and it gives you a pretty nice ring to have later on it's a rare ring called the slit charm or something i forget that i forget the names i'm really bad with names sorry guys but yeah lucky with the slit necklace so far oh my lord oh bless the god of can i really am lucky for this with it and scrap also nice Good to have scrap. Scrap is awesome if we can find it. But yeah. Also that Velo the Corrupted that started. We need to kill him. To progress the quest line. And as you can see we're halfway to level 9. Pretty fast. Pretty f nice. Also if you're just playing Grim Dawn the normal game. At level 8 you'll be getting the next profession by now. They switched it switched it to level 10 in the assets of Melmoth add-on, but yeah. Also, once, almost one shotting stuff, it's not that bad, it's basically after you get to Cadence level 14, you'll be two shotting, two shotting, 
I mean one two smash one smash one smash also fail safe portal just in case I die so I don't have to backtrack to <laughs> through a lot of stuff here if you die you lose a bit of experience the more the higher level you are no the higher difficulty level you're playing on the more experience you do as you see we lost the corruptor does a lot of poison damage but my bell reduces 12 poison length by 25 percent that's an awesome bell to have early on but yeah slit necklace slit ring of empowerment pretty nice stuff to have i think i'm gonna keep that also around here there's a yeah level nine we'll be equipping that i believe we need all the gear we can get Considering this is veteran, you need a lot of gear to survive veteran. Veteran is not a normal way you take less damage and you do a ton of damage <laughs> in return. Veteran really pushes your skills above average. But yeah, I always play on veteran, otherwise I will not know how good the build is gonna be for elite. But eh. Uh, I suppose if you wanna play a normal you can always go to Crucible if you have it, the DLC for that thing, it's an arena and you can test your build there, if you die, so on one of the levels, so be it, but yeah, level 9 and our first ultra rare, oh my lord, and it's a caster item, yeah great. I think I'm gonna keep this for one of my casters, if I wanna play as Dead Knight. A Dead Knight with a girl circuit. circle? Why not? But yeah. Second devotion point. I believe I wanted to take on Lion. You can't go, can't go wrong with Lion, but yeah. I'll reward. A ton of experience and... Reputation and what's more important, an inventory bag. But yeah, we're almost done to friendly. Then we can buy two with one of the two potions they sell. But yeah, reputation in this game means a lot. Also, hey dude, done the services for the people. But yeah, now we have to get to Burwich, the next town. We'll be tracking to a lot of swamps to get there. But yeah, let's sell. We'll be keeping those items and sell everything else for, you know, equipment and stuff. See you around. Also, never invested the stat points. I hope I remember to do the level up soon. As you can see, I got a lot of crap on my inventory. Oh my god. But yeah, comparing the gear, comparing the rings. Let's see what kind of rings I get. Hmm. I'm gonna keep this in my stash. That ring is way better. Give some resistance. And as you can see our resistances with custom gear, pretty okay. But yeah, new pair of pants that I've been keeping in my stash for the nice bonuses they get. I get from for them, sorry. And as for helmet, nah, that's a low cast of stuff. You don't want that, trust me. No. Bad me. Bad. No. 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 Why? I look ridiculous. Why? Why did you even consider it? You have better items. Come on. I know you have something better in one of your other slots. <sighs> Comparing gear. And why well, did I put one in cunning? Yeah. Come on. Why? That's right, you have the, that one, dumbbell, there you go, see, not that hard, really, I didn't think of it, I got some fresh loyal trousers, for level 60, if I'm interested in, oh boy, yeah, you get that kind of items. 
Trust me, the name of some of these items are really interesting, like fresh soil trousers. Why? Hell yeah, you can have a random chance to drop poop out of them, and they're toxic. And it's toxic poop. But yeah, this game has some very nice items. But yeah, buy all the scrap you can in the beginning. It will help you on later, and whatever else it sells. The vendor sells, but yeah, as you can see, a P12 will be the two charges now. I mean, two hits instead of three. It's basically one, two, kill, one, two, kill. I'll be starting with lion. You can't go out the, you can't go wrong with lion, and maybe get the crane next. If I ever play to con plan to continue this build, I don't know what to do. If I wanna be a life stealing bastard, that use it. Yeah, a cultist will be nice, so I can use bloody box on them and weakening. Anchors of frailty or bloody box. Let me think. Whatever do I want best? Hmm, bloody box with sigil of consumption will sound. Pretty awesome right about now. But yeah. Why did I choose the deer? I said I go for lion, why? Uh, who cares? But yeah. Like I said, explore everywhere. I'm gonna show you a uh, place that if you go in the beginning, you get mobbed and killed. If you want to farm for slid necklaces, the, the next area where this boat is has a lot of slate in it. This is a quest for the alchemist guy in, Ma in uh, Devil's Crossing. You know, the guy with the extra skill point award. That will unlock if you're honored with Devil's Crossing. That's a long way to go, I believe. But yeah. As you can see, Vanguard, not so much of a problem, and we're tanking pretty good so far. Having a shield means you'll never get tossed around if they charge you. Slate don't usually charge, at least not these guys anyway. But yeah, we're almost up to level 10, we'll be fight, we'll be, be we'll be almost level 10 soon. As you can see, we're getting swarmed, but we're holding our own very well. Quite well, actually. This is a nice place to farm slain necklaces, if you're really hurting for those. But yeah, the, begin the starting enemies here begin, the enemies here begin at level 8. So, if you try this when you first start the game you will be get you will get killed on veteran on normal it's doable but i don't recommend it even then unless you're really good at this game and i mean really really good i'm not good by the way i miss a lot of things and i tend to play it cautious for some people stay really cautious. But yeah. A lot of holes. Yeah. They're gonna pop out of. And a lot of sleep pops out of them. There's a nice background story to them. I'm not gonna explore. Spoil. But if you get to. Basically, this island is where they were first created by an ass, ain't by an ain't by an alchemist guy 300 years ago. For I forgot why he made them, but yeah, this is where the laboratory is. Down there is luck, but you can have Hargate journal. You can pause and read that if you want to. But yeah, that's lit. Also, that water wave, re that water wave, wave thing really slows you down. 
And I mean really slowed you down, but yeah. As far as one shots go, really, it's a nice build for beginners. Soldier with Cadence, you can't go wrong with Sword and Shield. You just can't. As you can see, we are almost level 10. The experience is really nice in this. <coughs> really nice. Also, the equipment is not a bad either. More stuff for us to sell. But yeah, that's is about all we can do here. We'll be... I'm gonna show you another area with... There's a cave somewhere around in the next area that has a very nice starter shield. You may wanna do, you may wanna take if, well, you're playing a sword and shield stuff. There's a rat that drops a nice shield in the next area. But yeah, we'll be level 10 and a bit more and a half when we're done with this, so it's technically not the first 10 levels. I should have stopped here, but I wanted to show you what exploration can get you if you really explore and kill stuff but yeah level 10 we finally made it congrats to me this is the second skills the second class you can pick i will not be picking that but instead i'm gonna almost max out cadence and put more into cunning because Soldier has a glaring weakness, it gets a lot of physique but less cunning and... But the medium cunning and uh, less intelligence, very low spirit, aka intelligence, yeah. I may want to supplement this with Necromancer or Occultist to get... Occultist will be better, they get a lot of cunning and spirit. I'll have to think about it if I really want to play this some more. But that depends on you guys if you found this helpful or not on how to level. I hope you did. It will mean a lot to me if at least one of you guys thought it helpful at all. It will mean technically the world for me. In fact, it will mean the world to for me if anybody at all will actually see this, what this, but yeah. Also, this area don't stick in the water too much. You will die. That green water is toxic. But yeah, there's a lot of rats in this next area. And I do mean... Oh, sorry about that. A lot of rats. Not now, cat. I I know I mentioned rat cat, but really. Yeah, damn ass. You're hungry now that I mentioned rat, right? And you're seeing the rats on my monitor, you wanna eat them. Really, kitty? Really? Uh, no meowing. I mute external, I think, so I don't... You will not hear her meow. But she's quite annoying since, well, my mother kinda took away her babies. <laughs> to give away. She basically, did, she didn't kill her babies or anything, she gave them to the neighbors who didn't have baby kittens. But yeah. Here's the... Ooh, an imposing shield. Nice, drop rat. I'm gonna be using that. Imposing, I believe, it gives you a lot of strength and... Hello, the deceased. The late deceased. Not deceased. Well, he will be deceased soon enough. Sorry about that, mispronunciation. English is not my first language, as you can all tell. But yeah. As you can see, Nice stuff to sell. And especially 
a decent shield. Good variant. I think I've been keeping that. And an amulet that I can replace my crappy one that I'm gonna throw away. <laughs> because I don't want that. Uh, Ether resistance, mm, debatable. But yeah, Beast Fur, really nice jump to have. Also, increase our damage with Chip Claw. Awesome. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to tune in, stay tuned in. And if you are one of my nine subscribers, thank you for being here for me. I appreciate that a lot. I do this for fun, not to get monetized or anything. I just want to showcase how awesome this game can be. Make sure to check out my other playlist on Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. That one has no commentary if you find my voice annoying. Until next time, I'll see you guys next time. This is Nikki and bye bye. Posing for the camera. Bye.